thanks for coming to watch my video again. Um, just kind of wanted to give you a, a, a walk around of what I've built and, and you know what I like and what I probably don't like so much. Um, this is my Union Station that, that I built and uh, I didn't want to make it just sit flat on the ground. I kind of wanted steps up like you see here and there are some on each side. Um, in, in order to build that, it, it was actually very easy. Um, what I did was I added eighth inch hardboard, the same size as the building, and then we set the building down on it, and then that gave me an eighth inch rise in front where the stairs are. So then I'm able to, I was able to actually take uh, 60,000 sheet plastic and I actually made the stairs out of that and I did that on the sides as well and then the, the, the sides of the stairs here is just more of the eighth inch hardboard um, and the, the, the sidewalks are, are again eighth inch uh, or sixty thousandths uh, plastic uh, it's all divided into you can buy it in sheets cut in squares already like that so then I added this this Union Station sign which I thought it finished it kind of nicely and it, and it looks fairly good um, and this area is pretty well done. Uh, I didn't have to put interiors in there. I was going to, and I had kind of an accident with the with the clear paint when I cleared over the uh, the weathering on the building, and the clear got inside on the glass, and it made kind of a frosted effect. And I'm kind of happy with that. I think we'll leave it alone, and I won't replace the glass. We'll leave it. Um, and then we can move over to this side over here, and this right here is my um, repair facility for the train station. Um, nothing really big and fancy going on at all. Um, just a weathered building. It's just, I just painted it and did it. Um, it is lighted inside. Um, I can bring the camera around the other side and you can kind of look inside it. So there's the welding lights inside the building. Um, I thought it looked pretty good. Um, and I, I'm, I'm like I said, I, I think we're calling that area pretty well done as well. I just need to add more details, like cars, and I have to add a fueling uh, station to this and all that kind of stuff. But the building and things are, are fairly well done. Um, and just over to the to the left a little bit are the platforms for the train station. And again, you know, when you're looking at the platforms. I cut them so that the, the longest track is out on the outer course and they get shorter as you come in. Um, they did the same steps down here that come from the platforms down to the train station. The same eighth inch sidewalk material um, goes down to the train station so it kind of makes sense in how you get around. Um, the backdrop that's on here, this is from uh, Scenic Express, uh, this is where I bought mine from. It comes on a sheet with clouds and sky and everything, and I, I cut the sky off and then glued everything to my wall, and then eventually I'll add, I'll paint my own clouds in there. And then there are some low relief buildings in the back here. I added a couple just to give a little bit of depth, which would be like this building here. So this can come out like this, and you know, it's just a, this is um, foam core board, and the building is just glued onto that and, and cut out. And it just adds a little bit of depth to the building. Um, so then we go from the train platforms over here and we come back this way. And that brings us to our small switching tower, which I just finished building. Um, I was going to light it, but it, it's a little small and, and I really, I don't know, just don't feel like running wiring all up into that and all. Um, but that brings us over to this, which is the turntable. Um, I've started working on it, it's all installed, it does work, it just needs to be programmed at the moment. And then if, if we back up the camera a little bit, I have my control pad, which is right here. Um, I have it disconnected at the moment. I, I've, I've got a, like I said, I still have to program it all and, and the approach track isn't tacked down yet, so. Okay, so the next area after the turntable comes to this area here, which is the my farm supply warehouse or store however you want to call it um, I do have you know tractors and harvesters to put in that would be for sale and all I just haven't gotten around to them yet um, but that's that's what goes on here it, it looks okay and it is lit um, uh, 
Uh, right next to that, I have this is a, an attempt at a, at a uh, cornfield of sorts. I, I found it online. It, it looks okay. It's better than the crop I used to have in there. Um, and then right across the street from there, there's a church. Um, this is from a kit. It, it's uh, I added a bell to it. I went to the hobby store and I found a small bell that actually fit in the bell depot. And it's lit as well, and there are stained glass windows in it. And it, it looks pretty good. Um, if you look over here, if I can get the camera in there, there's I have a mirror in here. So when you're looking down the road, you can see into the mirror, and it makes gives the illusion of the scenery going on forever, you know. Um, that was a pretty cool idea I got from uh, uh, Model Railroader. Okay, and then after the church, we move over this way a little bit, and I have a farm scene that I made. Um, again, it's all lit. Um, all the trees I made, the trees are Scenic Express trees, super trees from Scenic Express. Um, the fence is, is all, I, I just made that, that's all toothpicks that are stained and installed. They're a little big, they're not really to scale, but it, it looks okay in, in the place that it is. Uh, the backdrop is another uh, um, Scenic King, that's who makes those, Scenic King. Uh, for the background trees that go in the back, I didn't cut the sky off, I should have, but I did this long before I did the train station area. Um, the railroad crossing, I, I just, I don't know, I, I made this, this, the uh, road pieces here out of here out of toothpicks, sanded them down to be so that they fit in here right, and then I stained them. Um, I, I think they came out okay. Okay, so after the farm, we, we drive on down the road a little bit, and we reach our residential houses, um, nothing fancy here, just houses and some cars. Um, and then we get up to a bridge here. I have a river that runs all the way down through here. It goes under the train bridge. Um, let's see how good we can see that. But yeah, there's the river. And that just runs off into the scenery, so you don't really ever see the end of it. And then from there, we move over to the Gulf Station. I have a small junkyard in the back. This would be one of those old gas stations that, you know, out in the country and it's been around for, you know, 60 years or more. Okay, so from the, the old gas station, um, we move our way down the road. There are some more houses built. Um, and then I have a small general store over here, which is from, the, from, from a kid as well. Um, again, still needs more scenery work. It's not a finished thing. I'm still working on it. I, I like to take things. I, I do the basic basic scenery first, and then I'll, I'll, I'll look at it for a while, and then I'll come back and start really detailing it, and I haven't gotten to that point yet. Um, and you can see the roads right over here where I, I've done this road here, done this road in the color that it's going to be, but I, I still have to do this part over here. It's too dark, and it doesn't look right. Um, and then up from that, just a little bit, is the lumber mill. And that is uh, something we're still working on too. Uh, just some of the basic details are in. We have some lumber piles and things like that. I have, um, you know, it's fairly well done. It's served by rail. Um, and again, it's lit. And, and all that, all my buildings are. And I, I think that's pretty much it up to this point. I'll, I'll add more later as we get things done. Um, I have a whole nother side of the layout to, to, to show you as well, but we'll do that in another video. Um, again, thanks for watching.